this tutorial, I will talk about how to add products and categories into your shopping cart. To add a category, go to Database, select Products by Category, and this should bring us up a list of all of our categories. If we switch to our store, you can look right over here is our categories. Now, let's go ahead and add a new category to our store. Select the Add New Category button. Now, when the Add New Category button comes up, we want to go ahead and add a new category called Pet Toys. And we want to use the top temp, which is the top of this area right here, unless we have a custom temp that we want to use. The same goes for the bottom temp, which is the bottom area right over here that we changed in a previous tutorial. Now, if we want to change the bottom temp, we can go ahead and put in a new temp blank, something else, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to leave it included. Display products, we can say include subcategories or just this category when we display it on our store. And let me show you an example of what the subcategories looks like. Right over here, you see refurbished products. It says refurbished picnic baskets, refurbished display baskets, refurbished lunch baskets, and refurbished kitchen baskets. Those are all subcategories of refurbished products. And over here, they don't display any subcategories because it is not selected. For the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to leave it all, including all subcategories. Enter order index. The order index is something that we want to list as far as how we want to list it. So on the store right now, we have all of these categories. If we wanted to add, if we wanted our pet toys to be number one, we would put in number one. However, for the sake of this tutorial, we'll leave it as number five, which is default, and it's the last one on the order index. For the category tag, we want to make sure that we have something descriptive because the category tag, like the pages tag or the product tag, is something that helps, helps us identify what we're trying to do. So in case we're looking for a certain tag in our store that has thousands of categories, well, maybe not thousands, but you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, or even 100 categories, we want to be able to identify them quickly and easily. And with the category tag, we are able to do so. So I'm going to name this pet underscore toys because we want to make sure we leave it as one word. And for meta tags, this is solely for uh, search engine. So we want to put in some custom uh, tags in here and we could put in uh, pet toys, dog toys, comma, cat toys, or whatever else is relevant to our store. Now in the description, we're just going to put in this is our toy category for this sample store. This is to help us identify what it is and also could display our description of our category. We're going to select insert and as you see right over here our pet toys is listed under our categories. Now let's see if it's listed on our store automatically. I'm going to hit F5 to refresh my page and there we go pet toys and if I click into pet toys it says category is empty. So now we want to go ahead and start adding some products into our category. Easy enough. All we got to do is select products when we're in our category and this should let us add some products. Okay, it says no products found. So we're going to add a new item. Okay, for the title, we're going to add a toy monkey, just for an example. And let's see here, I'll make that capitalized right there. Okay, now for the SKU, it could be any number that you want. It should be a unique number. So we're just going to put in 8745. Now, if you look under pictures, it says you will be able to upload pictures once the product is added. So we're going to have to wait until we add the product. Now, under category, we're going to put it as pet toys because that's the category we want. It sets it by default. For manufacturer, we can put in test ink keywords that people can search for when they have when they search on your store, which I can show you right over here. So when they search for, these are keywords that will help them find the specific product. So we can put in monkey toys and whatever else we want to put. Now discount, if we want to add a discount, we can add a discount to this. I'll just put in 5% just to show you what it looks like. Product is visible to all users. Affiliates, which if you want to restrict your product to a certain type of user, like affiliates, then you would uncheck that. Or on the front page, we want to put it all. Inventory, we want to say how many do we have in stock. I'm just going to put in 50. And sales units, I could put in 50 as well. Actually, I put in one. And let's see here, regular. This is how much it costs. So the regular price that we charge for this one will be $25. The MSRP is $35 and affiliate will leave it as zero. Now, if we want to put in shipping and handling information, we 
can go ahead and put it in, in there, but we're not going to do that for the sake of this tutorial. Now we're going to select Save. Okay, now you see a whole new set of icons pops up. So now we can go ahead and set product pictures. So we're going to say this is this will also save current changes. Continue, and you want to select OK. And it says no pictures. So to put in a picture, we hit Insert. Click on Browse. We're going to go ahead and go to my desktop, and I have a picture of a monkey up here. And I'm going to select Insert. And there is my monkey. And we're going to set it as default. And that's it. And we're done with that. Now let's go back to our monkey. And let's enter a little description. So we're going to enter a short description in. And we're going to put in, this is the best monkey in the world. And select save. Okay. And let's go back to our toy monkey. And let's put in a long description. It's going to be the same thing. This is the best toy monkey in the world. I think monkeys are the best animals. Exclamation mark. Okay, great. And we select save. Okay, now we go back to our toy monkey. Now it's time for us to go ahead and look and see what our product actually looks like. So, going back to our store, we're going to hit F5 to refresh it, and hey, there's our monkey. And let's click on it. There we go. This is, Here it is, my description, my SKU. I can actually display it or not display it. In another tutorial, I'll show you how to do that and how to customize the actual product page. And if I want, I can select the quantity, buy it now, and everything works great. Alright, that concludes the tutorial on how to add products and categories.